Now, dito na naman tayo sa relative equilibrium of liquid masses. Now, meron tayong iba't ibang formulas para dito. However, let's first try to read our problem. Now, we have the an open rectangular tank which is 2 meters wide, 6 meters long, and 2 meters high. And it is mounted on a truck. Now, yung water na kinikari niya, yung depth is 1.5 meters. And so, let's try to draw our figure. Let's just say, ito yung truck natin. And then, yung depth of water in the tank is 1.5 meters. So, let's just actually make this realistic. Yan. This is 1.5. And then, yung height ng tank is 2 meters. So, ito yan. Ito pala yung tank natin. And then, yung length is 6 meters. And then, yung width na perpendicular sa screen natin, that's 2 meters. Bala, ito yung 3D ng tank natin. Now, first, we have to find out the maximum acceleration without spillage. Now, before that, isusulat ko muna yung formula natin. Now, if horizontal yung movement, kasi diba, we only have a truck, and then, it's only moving along the road. Ito yung formula natin. Tan theta is equal to A over G. Now, sir, ano yung theta? Yung theta is the angle formed by the water with respect to the horizontal. And so, diba, if this truck moves to the right, let's say, pa ganyan, then yung tubig natin will be inclined. Magiging ganito. Kasi nag accelerate na kasi yung truck natin. However, if we are to consider without spillage, ito yung orientation yan. Andiyan na siya sa dulo. Now, itong 1.5, magbabago na to. This will now be 2 meters, yung height ng water level, for this consideration. Now, if you will zoom in, ito yung theta natin. Ito yung angle formed with respect sa horizontal. Now, ito pala yung dapat mong tandaan. If ganito na yung orientation ng tubig, we will draw a horizontal line na dadaan sa gitna nito. And so, this is also theta. Now, by the way pala, let's try to make sense of the distances. Now, itong horizontal line, ito yung original water level. And so, diba, that was 1.5 meters. And then, to avoid spillage, dapat, andito na yan sa dulo. And so, itong distance na to, this is 2 minus 1.5. And so, this is 0 0.5. Now, diba, since nahati na to, itong distance na to, this is half ng 6, which is... 3 meters. And so since hindi tayo given ng acceleration, yung gagawin natin, we'll use these distances in order to solve theta. Now diba, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now what is our opposite side? Yung opposite sa theta is 0 0.5. And so this is 0 0.5 divided by the adjacent side, which is itong 3 meters. And so since we know that this is tan theta, we will just substitute that here. And so yung mangyayara, we have 0 0.5 divided by 3, which is tan theta, and then equal yan to A over G. Now, itong A, this is our unknown. And then, yung G natin is the gravitational constant, which is 9.81. And so now, masusolved na natin yung A. We have 9.81 times 0.5 divided by 3. That will give us 1.635. So, A equals 1.635. And then, this is meter per second squared. Yan. Now, yung pangalawang question is, we have to determine now the force to accelerate the water mass. Now sir, ano yung gagamitin namin na formula? Dito sa letter B, we will use force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now diba, meron na tayong acceleration which is 1.635 meter per second squared. Now sir, ano yung mass natin? Yung mass na i-consider natin is yung mass ng water. Now diba, yung density ng water is 1000 kg per m cubed. This is what we are going to consider. And then diba, in order to get kg, kasi yan kasi yung mass, we need to multiply this by the volume. Kasi diba, density is equal to mass divided by volume. And so mass is equal to density times volume. And so yung mass natin will be 1000 kg per m cubed multiplied by the volume, which is 6 times 1.5 multiplied by 2. Again, we are only considering the volume ng water, which is this one. And so 2 times 6 times 1.5. And then this is m cubed. And so magka-cancel to. And then yung mass natin will be 1,000 times 2 times 6 times 1.5. Yan ay magiging 18,000. And so we will multiply this by 18,000. Now diba, yung kg times m per second squared, that will become newtons. And so if we will multiply this by 1.635, meron tayong 29,430. And then this is newtons. Now, if we will divide this by 1,000, we can express the answer in kn. And so 1000 newtons is equal to 1 kn. And so our answer will be 29.43. This is for letter B. Now for question 3, let's first try to make sense sa kung ano yung mangyayari. Now diba, 
Ito yung configuration ng tank natin on the verge of spilling. Kasi ito kasi yung nasa number 1. Na wala tayong spillage. However, di ba, if you try to look at the acceleration, ito yung maximum acceleration before merong masuspill na water. And so since 6 is greater than this value, meron ng water na lalabas sa tank. And so yan yung isosolve natin. Now first, on the verge of spilling, we will try to solve theta. Now di ba, that will be arc tan and then opposite which is 0.5 divided by the adjacent side, which is 3 meters. Yan, half ng 6. And so that will be 9.46. So theta equals 9.46 degrees. Now, kung yung theta will exceed that value, meron ng water na mas bispel. Now, there are actually different cases kung ano yung orientation ng water natin. It may look like this, or like this, or if the acceleration is significantly large, magiging ganto na yung water natin. Now, let's try to check kung ano yung orientation. Again, ito yung para sa original condition. Now, let's try to define this angle. Let's label this as beta. And then we'll try to solve this value. Now, di ba, tan beta is just opposite, which is 2 meters, divided by the adjacent side, which is 6 meters. And so solving beta, we have arc tan 2 over 6. That'll give us 18.43. Now, ito yung last point at which maging ganto yung orientation natin. Now, sir, how about yung angle na form due to the acceleration? Diba, ito yung formula natin. Tan theta equals A over G. Now, if we'll substitute 6 into A, meron tayong tan theta equals 6 divided by 9.81. And so, our theta will be 6 over 9.81. That's 31.45. Now, what can you notice? Diba, yung theta natin exceeds 18.43. And so, that means that our new water line would actually look like this. Kasi this has a greater angle than this one. Now, let's label this as theta. And then this is 31.45 degrees. And then, remove na lang natin to. Yan. Now, by the way, if yung angle natin dito is less than beta, then yung waterline natin is just this one. Yan. Just before this point. But if it exceeds the angle, like for this one, magiging ganto na. And so, I hope that's clear. And so, erase na lang natin to. And then, we'll try to find the volume spilled. Now, di ba... This is the water line on the verge of spilling. And so kung ganito na yung orientation ng water line natin, again, this is the new water line, I believe you would agree na yung volume spilled is actually this volume. Yan. Kasi yung marirate na lang is itong volume na to. Kulaya natin ng violet. Now first, isosolve muna natin yung distances natin. Ah, by the way, let's remove itong 3. Now first, let's try to solve this distance. Yan. Diba, this will just be the adjacent side if we'll consider this triangle. And so let's label this as x. And then we have tan 31.45 is equal to opposite, which is 2 meters, divided by x. And so solving x, we have 3.27. So this is 3.27 meters. Now, di ba, on the verge of spilling, yung volume ng water natin is the original volume. Kasi wala pang water na matatapon. Now, sir, what is our original volume? Ito lang yan. Diba, ito yung initial volume, which is 2 times 6 times 1.5. And so, lalagay ko dito, this is the initial volume. And then, yung value nito is 18 cubic meters. And then, to get the volume of the water spilled, we'll just actually subtract this volume. Again, this is the volume retained. And then, ito naman, itong nakakulay blue, yan yung volume spilled. And so, volume spilled is equal to the initial volume minus the volume retained. Now, our initial volume is 18 m cubed. And then, our volume retained will be the area of this triangle multiplied by the width. Now, that will be 1 half times the base, which is 3.27, multiplied by the height, which is 2 meters. Ito yung area ng triangle, itong nakaviolet. And then, we'll multiply that by the width, which is 2 meters. Again, that's perpendicular to our screen. So, this is times 2. Again, ito yung area. And so now, masusolve na natin yung volume spilled. We have 18 minus 1 half or 0.5 times 3.27 times 2 multiplied by 2. And so, that'll be 11.46. So, this is 11.46 m cubed. And so, ito yung sagot natin for letter C. Now, yung sagot sa CEREF is actually 9.28. But let's try to check if it's just erroneous. Try natin to solve yung problem dito. Now, di ba, this is how we will solve theta. Now, we have tan theta. By the way, we are multiplying it by this one because by default, radians yung angles dito. And then, this is equal to A over G. Now, let's define our A. Our A is 6 meter per second squared. And then, our G is 
9.81. And so now we can solve theta. And then using this theta, we can solve the value of x. And so that'll just be tan theta is equal to the opposite side, which is 2, divided by x, which is this one. And so solving x, we have 3.27. And then by the way, our tan beta, or the last angle at which the waterline will be right here, that's equal to 2, which is the opposite side, divided by the adjacent side, which is 6. And so that's 18.435. And then we'll compare that with this one. If this angle exceeds beta, then that means that this is our orientation. However, if our theta is lesser than beta, then that means that the waterline is just right here, just above this point. And so if beta is greater than theta, then it's above this point, or let's say above the tip. And then else, if theta is greater than beta, then the waterline will start to move to the left. And so that's why we were able to conclude na yung waterline is to the left of the tip. That's why nandito na yan. And then after nyan, we solved for the volume spilled, which is the initial volume, which is 18m cubed, minus the area of the triangle, which is 1 half times the base, which is x, multiplied by the height, which is 2. And then multiply natin to by the width, which is also 2. And so the volume spilled is 11.46. However, since wala to sa choices, let's try 5. Now, if we input 5, ito yung lalabas, 10.152. However, since natry ko na to kanina, yung ginamit pala dito is 4.5. Now, kung dito na natin, if yung A natin is 4.5, lalabas yung 9.28. And so, erroneous talaga yung choices sa book. Yung 9.28 kasi corresponds to an acceleration of 4.5. But kung 6 yung gagamitin natin, we actually have 11.46. Thank you.